Welcome to this video. I am actually excited about this one because I've been experimenting with Google Gemini 2.5 for probably the last kind of six to eight hours and it actually cooks, okay? I, I'm, I'm not like an Anthropic fanboy. I'm not gonna sit here and say that it's not better than Anthropic or it's not as good as Anthropic just because I'm some like fanboy, right? That, that's just not the case at all. I don't have any preference to who has the best model. I will just simply use whichever the best model is at any time. Let me just quickly say something. Opus 3.7. If this isn't in the next week, I will... I'm not going to I'm not gonna make like any crazy bets. I was going to say shave my head, but I'm not, I'm not saying anything crazy, okay? But if, if this doesn't happen in the next week, I'll be very, very surprised, okay? It might actually be good as 3.7 Summit Gemini, right? So now Anthropic, they're going to have some a, a fire lit under their ass and they're probably going to release Opus 3.7, which is going to blow us all fucking away, but whatever. The, the, problem, the, the problem that Anthropic's going to have is that Gemini is free, okay? At the moment, it's currently free. You can use this to build applications, build websites, create content, whatever you want, completely for free. And I'm going to show you that in this video, right? So you can actually hook it up to Klein. You can use something like my uh, prompt, which builds uh, service-based websites. So I'll just go to that quickly. So if you just stick this prompt into Klein and run it with Google, and I'm not using open router either. I, I, I used actual Google. So it's, it, it's zero dollars. You only need a payment method, really. And the only reason you need, a, you need a payment method, right, is because if you go on uh, the API key section here, which, which you need, you actually need to set up some kind of billing or usage, right? Otherwise, you can't... Um, you, so I'm in tier one, right? You need to be in tier one in order to be able to run these models. So you only get two requests a minute, right? But I'm going to show you that despite the fact that it took maybe an hour and it took a lot of me pressing retry, right? Every time it um, had this overload error, it does, it actually works, right? It actually created this entire project for me from this prompt, right? So you can see the prompt here. It's exactly the same. Very, very simple prompt. I don't know what it is with people saying I prompt like an idiot. I don't know why people think that you need to prompt like some kind of prompt wizard. Prompt wizard do not exist. I'm sorry. Uh, you're not a prompt wizard. You're just some guy who likes to write complicated prompts for no reason. Uh, my prompts are fine. I've had really good success with my prompts and so have hundreds, well, thousands of other people. Now, one thing I have noticed, by the way, about Gemini is the way that it does comments is much, much, much closer to how a real developer uh, develops, right? Claude and things like that, they don't do that. So that is one thing that is better than ChatGPT or Claude because with proper comments, right, you can then take this, give it to a programmer, a real human developer or whatever, or another AI even, and it will more quickly understand what everything is doing and you don't need to refactor this code because it's already got really, really good comments throughout. Everyone knows what everything does. It's much easier to take this from an MVP, give it to a development team and get it fully developed into a full blown website, right? So let's just do a little comparison here. I did this the other day, but this was using, this is the first time I've used the official uh, Google Gemini API for free for zero dollars, right? literally zero dollars. I haven't paid a penny for this entire website. This website here that you can see, this cost about $15 using the Anthropic 3.7, um, Sonic 3.7 API, right? It kind of one shot this. It, it required, a, you know, some, some changing, some touching up, etc. But, you know, overall, this is what it created, right? Now, let's see what Google created. So NPM run dev down here, right? I'm not going to build the project just because yeah, I can't be bothered. So this actually 404s. I think the reason is because I need to put slash en here. Uh, there we go. Okay. So this is the... Wait, this, this looks eerily similar to this one. That's crazy, actually. Okay, so let's just have a look. Font, amazing. I love the font. This is good. 
Is this really the one that it made? Okay, so it hasn't, it, it doesn't, yeah, it is, because it hasn't implemented the language switcher, that's fine. So these are all things, you know, as long as the initial kind of thing is pretty accurate, right, then we're happy. So being able to one-shot a website like this, it's actually got animations as well, look at that, bang, animation. The SEO works, look at this. So, I mean, this is something that, um, you know, we'd have to add all this data, blah, blah, blah. The, the, you know, the, the, this is a lot of placeholder stuff, right? But it was the same with the one that I made with Sonnet 3.7 because it's missing information, right? The AI is missing information. So you have to later give it this information. So I think if I put IT here, I don't know if this is going to, I don't know if it's actually done the IT. It has done the Italian version. Amazing. It works as well. So you can go to Feste Private, uh, which is private parties book for Feste Private in your area. Why the fuck is this in English? That's fine. You know, th there are a few things that we have to change, but overall the look and feel of the website is really, really good. It's one shot this for zero dollars. Yesterday's video was for zero point zero one dollars. Now it's literally for nothing. I didn't pay a single penny for this website. You can now develop an entire website, right? Because you can go to, I think it's Namecheap, right? I'm not 100% sure it's Namecheap, but I think they do $1 domains, right? Um, so what I suggest you do is you look for a domain for $0.99, cents, right? And then I think you also get... Um, I think you also get mail with this. I'm not 100% sure. I, I think so. So if you go to business email here... You'll have to check all this. I'm not sure if it's Namecheap or someone else, but there's one where you buy a domain and you get a professional email service for $1, right? So you can effectively launch an entire brand for $1 because you get the domain, right, plus um, hosting. Uh, wait, no, sorry, not plus hosting. Domain plus um, email, right? Because you, you want a professional email. You want a domain unique email, right? Everybody does. And then you can get the, the website fully developed, right? Using what I've just shown you in this video for free, right? So this is free, this is $1. And then you can just use Vercel. There's a free version of Vercel, which is also free, right? So you're paying $1 to run an entire business for a year. Are you like, what is going on? This is, this is madness. This has never been possible before, right? Even, you know, two weeks ago, the cheapest you could probably do this for was $5 because the actual, unless you use Claude desktop, which in, in, in which case you're paying $19.99, right? There has never been a model that is intelligent enough to develop at this level for so cheap. That's basically what I'm trying to tell you. Okay. I think I might leave the video there, guys. Honestly, beside the fact that you have to click and press um, retry every couple of minutes, if they fix that, or once they fix that, this will be absolutely insane. All right, I'm telling you. Free websites that look good, work, have a good feeling. You know, everything here is working. It just, it just needs a few things changing, right? This only took me 45 minutes of sitting there pressing retry 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 it really wasn't that bad i did it while i was doing something else sometimes you don't need to press retry because sometimes it just goes through it i'm gonna leave the video there guys thank you so much for watching if you're watching all the way to the end of this video you're an absolute legend and i'll see you very very soon probably today again with some more content peace out